Well, my name's Rufus and I'm the, the village hall mascot for the roof appeals to repair our roof. You can see I've got patches already. We call ourselves uh, happy tappers because that's what we are. We're happy when we tap, and it's uh, a class. And the oldest happy tappy chappy is uh, 87, and the rest of us are a little bit younger than that, but not by much. And we're here in Sanford Courtney, which is a lovely old hall with plenty of history, and we'd like to see it continue into the future. Uh, so a nice new roof would be excellent to keep us dry and warm in the winter. It doesn't look very good at the moment. It's like the start of my engagement card for Laura Tim. Are they getting engaged? Well, they're going to get married, aren't they? Well, are you sure? Yes. Um, this afternoon we're here with Craft Group, which gets anywhere between six and ten people. Um, a lot of the older members of the parish like to come along. It gives them an outlet to talk to each other. So as well as doing craft, it's just a nice way to get together and have a chat. So I'm making a card, I'm making a wedding card actually, and um, I've got some calligraphy fonts here which I'm going to use to do some writing and I'm just going to arrange the hearts to make it look um, well, hopefully pretty. Back in the game, train down there. Down. 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 Um, in, a, in a very sort of gentle way really, over a cup of tea, cup of coffee and um, cakes and things. But we've got a whole selection of um, cards and board games um, and hopefully there's something there for everyone of every age as well, from the children through to, to adults. So the game that we're playing is Mexican Train. Um, it's something that uh, I was introduced to a few years ago by friends and we've had many nights of great fun uh, playing, playing this game um, and at the end of the, the game completely the lowest score wins the game. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the script. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh. So I'm expecting to pass one. She's usually gin in the constant rubbing yeah. to sip. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not allowed to play. You can go on You can play any of the other. Every Tuesday we meet here at uh, the Village Hall, half past seven, just the four of us. We would like just a few more because we're pretty old now and we get pretty tired. We don't take it too seriously. Um, any umpire who officially officiates uh, a game would have a nightmare because we don't agree with all the rules and so we don't play them, but we do have a lot of fun. It is lovely being able to come to the village hall to play table tennis because it's so near to all of us.
The only other place where you can really play so well, as far as I know, is in Oakhampton, and there they have very high standards, so I don't think we would fit in too well. So, the Village Hall it is for us. Jean Harris, the yoga teacher in the Village Hall. Uh, we've got a regular class on a Wednesday evening. We've got uh, a regular group of people who enjoy coming, enjoy their yoga, and feel fitter as a result. Without the village hall, I think uh, there's an emptiness in a village like this. So it's uh, a place where people not only come to do yoga, but enjoy each other's company, uh, spend time together, and hopefully at the end of a class, leave feeling a lot better, more relaxed than when they came. Well, I'm Rory Robinson, I'm one of the trustees from the Village Hall. Uh, we're gathered here today to uh, watch one of our first films that we've uh, shown at the, the uh, Village Hall itself. Let's try and raise some money for the Village Hall. We desperately need a new roof. Uh, we're playing, you know, it's Fisherman's Friends, rather appropriate, local. And we've got some guests from different groups of the community uh, to see, make sure it all works. So they really are guinea pigs and we're going to see how it goes and hopefully we'll be able to do some more. Hello ladies and grumpies. Thanks <laughs> for coming. There's uh, two or three health and safety things first. Oh, my God. 
Well, I thought that was very good for the first film show in uh, Sanford Courtney. Let's hope there's going to be plenty more like that because it was first class and I think everybody here has enjoyed it. Really well done. I said I'm trying to think of all the films I've watched to see. Oh, no, honestly, yeah. Feel good, feel good, feel good. So you're coming back in the morning, are you normally? Yes, I'm going to... Yeah, it'll probably be... Let's go out of eight, so if I say I'll come out of Uh, I'm Bob Tucker and I was uh, chairman of the Village Hall Committee until this year. Uh, uh, we've done an awful lot of work on the hall but there's a lot that needs to be done. But uh, uh, it's, it's really the hub of the village. Um, it's great to see everybody coming up to the various functions we do, having loads of fun. Yes. Good morning, happy breakfast, camera. So in here we have mushrooms. This one. We have bacon, all nice and crispy and ready. And in here we have black pudding, chipolata sausages. Yeah. I mean, I think you know, that has been some of the most poignant dances we used to have. There used to be wonderful um, hunt dances here years ago. 200 people. All the functions in my childhood were held here, all the, all the local parties and all us kids, there were 15 kids in the village at that point, and we all met here and socialised. It's about the only thing that we had in, in, early, in the 50s and 60s to get together at. So any function was held here, it was all really well patronised. So it's great that it's actually now still being used by the local community and should continue to do so. I visited the village hall to give a talk on cave diving and the Thai cave rescue and I was amazed at the turnout. A room full of individuals who were all interested and a, a completely thriving community. And what, what struck me was how much of a sense of fun that everybody seemed to have. Before my talk I was persuaded to, to try the Guess the Weight of the Pumpkin competition and rather unbelievably I won and I seem to be eating pumpkin soup even to this day. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Merry Christmas. Can you tell me, are you on the naughty or the nice list? How nice would you like me to be? They're coming as well. Don't mind me, can have another? Yes, this will be it. Have you noticed the story of the snowman? The snowman. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Yeah, I, I, I'm Chief Elf and Santa's... No, I'm... Uh, <laughs> hi, I'm Michelle Wilson and uh, I'm actually the chair of the parish council uh, supporting the village hall. Ho, ho, ho. Have I got a surprise for you? It was just something that we could give back to all the children and uh, in order to uh, help out the village hall and um, move it towards uh, the Rufus Appeal we uh, decided that we would have this fantastic grotto. No. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marion and this all came about because um, I'm allergic to Christmas trees and my mum and dad used to make me an alternative Christmas grotto so over the years when I grew up I started knitting different tableau for my children and my grandchildren and uh, Michelle, my friend Michelle Wilson um, said why don't we use this to help raise funds for the village hall and so three years ago we did a little version in just in the committee room and last year we set up with the maze with the Harris fencing and to make a winter wonderland of all the tableau and so this is our second year in this format. Okay, Michelle, he's done wrapped so many presents, he's already back. And the other two have been out gallivanting. This is Sleeping Beauty. What's he called? Frosty. Yeah, we did. Even through the pandemic, where we were able to give uh, you know safe, safe uh, use of the hall through um, family bubbles coming, and we've been able to do it three years in a row now to uh, allow the children to come and see all the fantastic decorations and the uh, the fairy tale story as they walk through. Oh, Marion! Marion's the inspiration for this. She's been doing her um, her uh, knitted uh, knitted scenarios for years now for her uh, her grandchildren, and so she just felt like it was a waste not for other children to be able to uh, enjoy the fantastic stories that she's depicted through her knitting. So this is a bit different. Have you enjoyed what you've seen today? Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for coming to see me. And I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. Yeah, and you. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Can't go there. I'm Belle. I'm Ivy. I'm Angel. I'm Faye. And this is Reggie. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic here. It's really um, yeah. um, brilliant for the children. Yeah, we enjoy um, seeing all the knitting and Yeah, we enjoy seeing all, all the characters. Yeah, um, we didn't know we were going to have a tour around all the grotto and everything like that. It was absolutely a lovely surprise for all the children, wasn't it? Yeah. And see all the knitting and everything and then seeing Santa at the end as a yeah. bonus for us all, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, right? yeah. we love it and it's just... Uh, a really lovely thing for the community to have and yeah we're new to the area we've only been here for a couple of months so things like this is the uh, exact reason why we moved down here actually for uh, a lovely sort of quite a, a pace of life and a, and a much better community atmosphere. Oh bloody ho. My name is Mike and I'm the lead for the Rufus Project. I'd like to thank you for watching the video today and I hope you've enjoyed it. What we've achieved here as a village is quite remarkable in my opinion. We have raised to date just over £50,000. Unfortunately, due to COVID and rising building prices, we're having to go to the lottery now for a significant sum of money. And I'm hopeful that they will come up with the goods. But that doesn't discount anything from what the village has achieved. And I think it's been an absolutely fantastic community effort. Mike, Mike, hold on a minute. What's that I hear? Look at me, I'm up here.
Oh, it's Rufus. I think he wants to say something. Have you heard about the two aerials who met on a roof like this one, fell in love and got married? The wedding was awful, but the reception was excellent.